Amen. It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest on 2K in existence. And look, we got Kai Sanat exposing NBA 2K25. And we got a bunch more information that y'all have not seen in no other video. So, you know, you're going to want to watch this full video. Got a dev talking about NBA 2K26 demo. If demos will ever return. We got NBA 2K stealing from me, okay? They have stole from me. We got new angles of the new parks. We got some new unique build names like pocket posts, ISO king, all this and that, but it's again Jutsu, we gonna break it down. Got some more information on the rank mode. They apparently patch cheating in NBA 2K25. Hey, devs are talking crazy. Secrets aren't resetting again. <laughs> oh my God. Ronnie, they got me to fly out to Vegas, gang. Oh, damn. I, I missed a day of streaming, gang. Damn. Right? That's a lot of money. I promo the fuck out of his game. I did his little, um, uh -huh. I went to the 2K event. And y'all know he the most lit streamer. So to have someone like him promo your game is, man, that does good good for 2K. Always talking about them numbers and stuff. You know, that could have helped with them millions, you know? And they're really seeing the real fall off. I'm chopping it up when I don't know. He do a podcast for his TikTok content and shit promo. Sit me down. They scan me. Just like a, a hundred cameras scanning my tattoos, my skin, my blackness, my locks. Yeah. Costing that wasn't in 2K24. Damn. He promised me. He said, yeah, we're gonna. Damn, Ronnie, you even lying to Kai? You done lied to the whole 2K community for years. And now you even lying to Kai? He said, yeah, we're gonna add your, your, your character <laughs> in 2K24, and you're gonna be able to play with your actual scan with them. This is a great impression, by the way, man. This is actually hilarious. So, you're gonna have your character within the game. <laughs> and when you go into my park, you're actually gonna be able to play with your map player. And I said, Ronnie, you dead out? Hey, W or L impression. That's hilarious. He should definitely use that uh, a lot more to, you know, be funny or whatever. That is that is hilarious. You really, ha you really let me do my thing with my map player? Yeah, so, with the technology that we have, you and Duke would actually be able to in the game and once you just connect it with your your account you will be able to sink in what you can damn damn that don't look like him y'all y'all think this looked like him he actually changed his hair and it didn't look good in our game so we had to rework it it's pretty close to ready i believe damn ready now it's because he made this tweet giving y'all that bad promo flyers park and of course now look at this look at this guys i want y'all to look at this nba 2k stole from me listen I'm not even talking about the idea like that, right? Because this done convinced me to pre-order. If y'all didn't know, pre-order the game, you get to play Old Town early instead of waiting until the end of the season. Because you know, the greatest parks to ever exist in 2K history, it's not nostalgia, <laughs> are now locked behind events. So we might get a weekend every like 50 days. <laughs> And we got to play on all them other courts. And you know, Rise and Elite's not looking too good. I'm not going. But look, this is what they did, right? NBA 2K25, we're celebrating like NBA 2 Look, y'all see this? We, we already heard the clip, right? But look, showing the chat on the screen in the clip. I know y'all are, look, look. No one's been doing this, okay? No one's been doing this, right? They got this from me. I don't know who's running this 2K account. I don't know who running this 2K account. You owe me a check, boy. Give Swan a check. Y'all took this from me. I've been showing the chat's reaction to like clips that's going on or whatever, you feel me? They got the motion for me. 2K, you watching me. Mike Wang, you watching me. You patching the game while I'm reacting on stream, man. Come on, man. It's obvious. Y'all can go do your homework on the Twitter, dog. I guarantee you know like come on man but look as you can see event ends friday 9 6 at 6 45 p.m so if you pre-order the game 2k you got me you know i be telling y'all don't pre-order the game listen i still recommend for all y'all that don't make content don't pre-order the game because you will be pressured into making a build especially with this you're gonna be pressured into making a build to go play and you're gonna waste your bread right it's better to just get the game when it comes out you somewhat mess with the company right and then you're not pressured into making a build and wasting your bread i know a lot of y'all are tight with the money i know people pressure it's your bro human beings can't control themselves man very few people can actually control themselves that's why gambling so addictive etc you know but yeah i was already gonna pre-order the game for content but um i'm gonna do it much sooner than um 
I was before. And this is another example for making a company earn your dollar. Like first they saw the low sales, then they're like, oh, two days early. And now they doing this. You know, you gotta make people earn your dollar. You talk that talk, you know, things change somewhat. Guys, look, these are tactics, right? You're gonna pre-order the game. You're gonna make a build real fast just so you could go experience it, right? We all know, oh, it's your choice. But you know, they're, they're tax, right? You know, imagine if we had a demo, just like Ja say, he talking that real. Now, hey, Ja, since you talking that real, but he might not let you go to community day. You see, th th this is how they control us, man. Well, not us, but creators. But look, he says old demos, we would already know what build we would make. But right now, we don't. I remember we used to go through the builder, all that, bro. That's way better for a consumer perspective. Look, then he says this, it always makes it challenging. It doesn't. They just choosing, you know, wine and dine creators. You know, they're not going to come back with negative feedback. They rather take that route, have them promote the game, and it's all control instead of just giving it to the public to where it's not controlled. Look, it's not tough. I wouldn't count on too many demos in the future either. Damn. <laughs> y'all go under this tweet let them know how you feel time consuming and not really the final build either figure that out man y'all be working on all 2ks years in advance y'all didn't know this it's not just a one-year turnaround i don't know man having access to the builder definitely helped me with my builds <laughs> man if community day was really about feedback it wouldn't be so close to release community day has replaced y'all having a demo that's a bad thing guys just letting y'all know a lot of y'all don't know that. now look this is a huge w records will not reset y'all let me know how y'all feel about this i think it's a huge w because oh at first i was you know i'm a big record head right i've been promoting the if you don't have a 91 percent you're trash don't talk to me since 2k 15 yes that was my truth. <laughs> you know, I was thinking, I was like, man, if this makes people not run in the park and makes people get more back-to-back -back games, this could be good. Let's try it. People were still running. It was the same thing. It didn't even matter. So there's no reason to delete the wreck. Now with the wreck, since only robots play in the wreck, like the worst 2K players skill-wise imaginable. I know that probably bothers a lot of you guys hearing that. It's the truth. It's your choice whether you want to accept reality or not. But that is truly where the worst of the worst plays. And it's a video game. It doesn't matter, guys. <laughs> but I, I didn't really care if uh if that resets every season because it's just, you know, like your rec record really and then but like park and everything else, it should definitely stay. And also another thing that's very vital and important. I really hope they make the stage and the park and proven grounds completely separate, especially park and stage. They're completely different modes, completely different skill levels. It shouldn't be a part of the same record. I keep telling them this. They're not changing it, bro. I don't know how many times I got to tell these devs. I done told LD hella, then told Elka, Uncle Demi hella, hella years. Um, Baluba, uh, the Zach guy, they're, they're actually responding to me also they're not changing it bro y'all didn't know i'm pretty sure 2k 17 too memory a little foggy but 2k 16 under when you played in the stage it did not affect your park record right either just make the stage not count towards the park record or give it its own record right it's very important it's very vital it's completely different builds completely different skill levels it'll make the community more lit It'll make park players, you know, go play that type of mode and it'll it'll help your game much more, you know, because usually park players, they don't want to go play stage. They're not trying to mess up their record. You feel me? And then it would be nice to see like a stage record because that's a whole different comp level mode. That's the highest comp level, even though it's more kind of like a matchup type of place. But it would be dope. Like it would make people like your game much more. Now, look, here's another W they got. They removed the shot meters from Proving Grounds. That's supposed to be their new rec mode. And they removed it from Pro-Am and anti -Up. Uh, They should also remove it from Park 2. And the rec. They should remove it from all modes. I'm not all online modes. Except maybe Play Now. Because I don't even think they would go there. But they should remove it from all modes. I know y'all. some of y'all like the shot meter and all that. And you think it helps you. It doesn't. Even, even for y'all Play Now cats. You think it helps you? I'm telling you. You could do it without it. I, I promise you. you could, it actually handicaps you. You know? They're, they're not training wheels. It, it handicaps you. It doesn't, you know? And then you get a boost without the meter. It really does handicap you. Oh, God. So it should just be removed. They done remove vibration. You might as well just take out the shot meter. I mean, I'm telling you, bro. You got to. And if y'all didn't know, it's because uh, these devices that you plug up into your um damn system, they go off the damn meters to cheat. It's corny. Anyone that cheats on video games are bad humans. <laughs> 
in real life. You need to be wary of them. Okay, no integrity as men. They, they, I'm sure they do some type of harm to people in real life. Those are really bad people. I swear to you, bro. Okay, so you're ranked individually in proven grounds. That's cool. Mm, hold on. Squads are allowed in proven grounds, and matchmaking will prioritize squads playing against other squads. That's a dub. So maybe you can go in there solo and then maybe play other people solo. Y'all should ask that question. That's a W. See? Hey. You know, it, when 2K does it right, I give you the, the, the W's. When you do it wrong, I give you the L's. No one needs to roast 2K, bro. We just want the game to be fun and good, bro. This is just my thoughts. Now, look, a lot of people were wondering about the 5v5s in, in the Proven Ground, if they were just going to go to 21. But no, they're full games, five-minute quarters. And this basically, a lot of people were saying that it killed the Pro-Am mode. People was running to play in Ranked Pro-Am anyways. Now, Ranked Pro-Am is just going to be a uh, match matchups, if y'all didn't know this. Very low percent that does that. But that's basically where the real, real comp play, like the big dogs. The super sweat. Super, super. You know, a lot a lot of people don't understand that the reality, like the those players playing, and like wreck heads think they can play with them park guys think that only the top percent of the park can play with them stay the the top percent or half of the stage can play but highest comp level is the matchup for pro-am that's the highest comp level in the game or maybe stage you know it all depends the stage is more like real stick skill and skill and then the pro is more iq and skill but not as much stick yeah, this is a w man um now look, at this, look at this look at this hold on here's a new angle of sunset look how beautiful this looks bro if y'all didn't look at uh rise and elite the parks don't look too good now look how beautiful this is it's not nostalgia <laughs> Is that the Dada? You were young. You were that kid. You were happy back then. This doesn't look way better. Some people lack ripples in their brains, man. Anyone saying that? They lack ripples. Look at this. Look how beautiful this look. Look how beautiful this looks, guys. You feel me? That toe look clean. Look. Look how beautiful this look. 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 And this, this ain't no debate. Most NBA fans prefer these parks. 2K is making the choice to make those other parks. I've always been telling y'all this. It's not the coding. It's not coding. They're making a choice. These are all choices. They could have been did this. The same with the gameplay, all that. These are choices they're making, okay? And view it as disrespect. View it as disrespect. Look how cool. Even if they don't give us these main parks for like the main, at least let your parks be inspired by this. This is what we're telling you. We want. Even the people that didn't touch these games, they go back and look and they still, they're like, yo, these look way better. Look at this. And of course the quality is going to be cruise because I'm looking at it on Twitter and it probably still look crazy. When you go look at uh old videos, bro, them videos are in 360, 480p. <laughs> And it still look way better than what we got now. That's crazy. Look at this. Look at this. Now, one of the bad things about the proven ground, um, it's gonna kill the uh rank pro mode even more. But I mean, already like killed. I ain't gonna hold. It. But. The 5v5 proven ground, it ain't gonna be like how you can have your own courts. And y'all know all them boys with spam and ice spice, oh, uh, you know. You know, so that's somewhat a L. It would have been cool if you could have some type of jerseys or some type of custom thing in the proven grounds. Who knows? I doubt it. So look, 2K is a L with these damn uh, BA template builds. You get these cool dope names, right? But in all the, like, the build videos I've seen, the names seem like average lame right just like typical but look look at these names right look at this the Allen iverson build iso king come on man for me so this makes you like just take their template i mean you can't tweak it or you're gonna lose the name right <sighs> that's corny you know i prefer them just making the whole builder with like crazy unique names and then you can have other names with, with your stuff you know if y'all want to do this too y'all could do that but at least have the builder have unique names like this right y'all feel me leak, 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 leak. pop 
pocket post. This dude's always talking about post scores, man. The game's cooked. They're going to be OP and broken again. So look at this. Zach tweeting out, random thought. I'm really looking forward to the day where a legit squad of five has a post scoring small forward with stretch bigs. Now look, this is the indication of how his mind's always been. Why post scorers have always been the most broken build in the game, even though the game of basketball has changed, right? He always has these no skill post scorers just tweaking, you know? And now with 25, look, he putting these ideas out. He's letting you know the post scores is OD. And he, he's, he's trying to push it. He's trying to push the game. The whole game is being developed like this. They all think like this, guys, right? They're trying to create the game to where, no, you're not dribbling on the perimeter or using a screen on the perimeter. They want some of y'all, half of y'all, to actually spot up while a post score do go down there and get hooky and get post fade. They want to break this game because the only way that'll happen is if they just keep slowing the game down nerfing the dribbling making it unrealistic giving all these guys asthma slowing the game down making it clunky to where you would have to eventually play like this y'all let me know how y'all feel man post score son or thought daughter be honest look said ruin that game zach we believe in you it says if you need a tip on how to succeed in 2k i got you you know how disrespectful this is i'm the greatest boy watch your mind you know, i just simply said like you know I would love to see you and Mike Wang play online this year so I can closely examine these tips. It'd be great for the community. I would love to see Mike Wang play, especially. I would love to see y'all play, man. Y'all over here trying to create NBA Live. I would love to see y'all play, man. I'm trying to pull up. I'm trying to show y'all how the game really play. Now, look, Jarius Twin is saying that this is the power of Legend Limitless. Um, I don't know. This could just be a clip. Who knows if he's just spamming these. Y'all let me know if y'all think this is something that should happen in NBA 2K25. It went viral. Got like half a mil. I don't know if people are bothered by this or not. 2K25, you can see what takeovers and animations you unlock with your attributes. We already know that. Okay, so when you apply cap breakers, if your build name can change, you're given the option of keeping your current build name or your new one, which is pretty cool. Y'all let me know if y'all uh, like that. I look, my guy, D1 Swiper, he says, how does a new dribble engine have the exact same moves as the old on clearly lying? <laughs> <laughs> i've been telling y'all bro i've been telling it's so obvious bro it, it it really is like for instance with john moran how do you get that behind them? like if you really pay attention if you really know dribbling you can see these things in the game you can really see them it's not like it's not like the pro play is really like bro like they're switching animation it's just like someone commented on my video and i, I see these comments all the time they like oh that magic johnson crossover is the luca they're just like switching animation you know it's not they're doing this pro play stuff it's really again juice i ain't gonna hold you maybe with some things or they're just switching and tweaking animations like i don't, I don't i'm trying to tell y'all bro now right here i was telling y'all that paul george behind the back that looked kind of good you know i was trying to like hey people gonna start they gonna start figuring it out you know it's a little you know it's looking like people are figuring out and he's saying this look like tyrese is uh behind the back do y'all think they switched it behind the back somebody do a comparison or is this the new real pro, pro play animation now look for those template builds you get, say you make one, right? The little NBA player ones. You basically get all those six for free, which really don't matter. And you get a unique name. It's corny. They're going to keep releasing them every year. Be careful, guys. Be careful with your box. So this is a yearly game. Maybe just find some friends you can share accounts with. He's saying they better now. And then he's also saying, this, this helps build makers see what we think are good levels to hit. Yo, this so there might be some souls. Mmm. Here's That's some more sauce. Now y'all know, like for instance, with Michael Jordan, you couldn't get his dribble style unless you were like six five under. We all know he's six six. He's saying that basically, you make these builds, the sigs you could get, it breaks the rules and the animation requirement if you do that at times. You know, they don't like realistically have it and stuff. You know, certain sigs and stuff you can't get with how the NBA player actually has his stats in real life. You know, so. Cat breakers, you switch them between every new build that you have. They don't always have to be on the same caps. That's cool. That's a W. A uh, Laker fan has me blocked, so I don't know what he's saying. Somebody let me know. 1v1 and 2v2 will be make it, take it. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about uh it being make it, take it. I feel like the other way takes more skill. I ain't going to hold you. You got to play D. It makes people actually go for threes instead of just exploiting and cheesing the game. Like if you get threes off, you could beat someone. And going for threes takes more skill than just 
fading behind a screen or doing some cheesy 1v1 method you know imagine like you're playing someone 1v1 right y'all keep scoring scoring he doing some cheesy stuff you get off some threes he can't beat you no more right he has to go for the threes it takes skill to go for threes it's like when you 1v1 you be like threes only that take more skill than just you know now here's some more new information though max plus one perk which you earn every season guys please do not buy levels for this please just play the game when you look back in a year you'll wish you didn't do it just look at how you looked at it this year bro but he's saying that you can move this perk around say you selected one to get upgraded to make from gold to hall of fame but this is cool that you could keep moving it around and it's not just stuck on uh, one badge for the whole season and apparently resets every season change the build in any way it becomes custom and you lose the sig animations and the unique name now look 4.4 million views okay this is getting patched y'all let me know how y'all feel about this now something like this i don't really i don't really care i think this is funny you know i don't really care people say oh it's not basketball no. a lot of things uh in this game are not basketball bro people only get their uh panties up in a bunch when it comes to some type of dribbling or movement there are so many you know the rates things happen the rates like that's basically cheese and exploit not basketball i don't think this is too harmful i think it's funny bro you know if it's not just some crazy cheese you know i don't really see the problem in it but i don't know but you know this is probably gonna get nerfed into oblivion so, so the template builds don't have many legend badges but they're more all around uh who do i have blocked i don't know why i got this guy blocked you still get the six free. So y'all know when y'all upgrade y'all builds, how other uh, attributes are tethered in together. Um, Zach is saying that when you use your cat breakers, it does it's not tethered together. So Joey is upset that taller builds don't have shifty shooter. I wonder. I don't know what the cap is, but you know, a dev is he wants to hear his side. This could be subject to change. Joey is saying first and foremost, NBA players like Embiid, seven foot plus. Wimby 7-4 have shown the ability to create shots off the dribble and score. Mm. Joey trying to make a demigod 2K. How do y'all feel about that? Would y'all want it to be straight realistic where everybody's stupid big builds and, you know, everything's performing. Oh, dick and seven foot players can go crazy. You can make Wimby Giannis, Eats, Kevin Durant, you know. Some people find a problem with that because then that's all anyone would make. <laughs> straight KD builds and... You know, but hey, it's real. You know, you got LeBron. Like, he damn near everything. What's the point of making another bill? <laughs> you know, it's, it just goes to show you, you can't, you can't always make everything to a T because it just, it doesn't make video game sense. That's what a lot of people don't understand. You can't make everything to a T straight rip because it just, it doesn't make video game sense because then there's no point of other things and that just it messes up like the video game aspect you know so you got to tune things now i don't really know how i feel about this to be honest because i hate big stretch big builds they ruin 2k for so many years they're completely unrealistic they were horrible 2k 17 i hated stretch bigs just cheesing not even dribbling the basketball running point guard dexing bursting glitching the game sim nation where were you when i was on the front lines where were y'all 17 18 19 where i was fighting for my life versus the stretch bigs and the df community where were y'all i was in my I was fighting, bringing together the ISO dribblers to fight back, to get them patched. Finally got patched, 2K20. <laughs> Took so many years, so much frustration and anger. You know, so I'm just worried somewhat that if this does happen, that, you know, it could get a little nasty. I know how them stretch bigs were. Now look at this, Ronnie is baiting the cringy side of gamers. You shouldn't do this. These guys are bad people, okay? They are not good people. I shouldn't even be saying this. They are weird, bro. Okay? You shouldn't do this. You shouldn't bait those type of people. They're like, it, he doesn't know. Like, you don't play with these. They will literally dedicate mindless hours and days and months. Like, they, they could, they might have just, uh, uh, 2K got this and that. We're not even going to play with it. But now there's going to be some weirdos to really try just to prove this wrong. They think you're playing with them, bro. They've been bullied their whole life, bro. They don't care, bro. You know, they, they, they attach on to weird things. Like, they will really, you know, like, this tweet could literally have decided if Zens would have been like a crazy issue. Like, 
I'm I'm so serious, bro. If y'all if you know, you know. Like they might have just left it alone, went to other games. There's better games coming out. But now, like with this tweet, they might really try to make it an issue. Now, past legend tweeted this out saying he's getting ready for uh 2K25. This is a horrible diet, bro. I don't even know how you could stay up eating this right like usually when you eat crap like this you can't stay up so that could mean that you know you low key be just switch it on hey i'm going to bed here you go buddy <laughs> ronnie says you need a more balanced diet man <laughs> now look gas you're tripping you're lost okay this is very strange ronnie says this is content this is very strange this is weird bro i'm not gonna hold you this is weird this is weird now look Young Reese talking that real. Y'all let me know if y'all agree. The city is significantly smaller. It's much more intimate. And it's designed to get you to your experiences quicker. And the entire city this year is designed with basketball in mind. No, it's not. <laughs> a basketball video game. And you trying to sell us that the features you're making have basketball in mind. What did you have in mind before? What were you thinking about before? Because how are you going to sell us that you got basketball in mind? It's a basketball game. You <laughs> yeah. didn't have to explain. That's how you know you've been messing up your own product that you got to remind us. Yeah, we, we we thinking about basketball. Damn. That's your own product. I'm talking about the city is now more smaller and intimate. Why would I want a wide open space full of nothing? Of course, it needs to be smaller and intimate. So everything that you're showing us is actually usable and interesting. Interactive. That's why we don't like a large city, because we know Damn. it's full of nothing. Why would I want to run around with my basketball character and do nothing? Just Damn. get me to a court and let me hoop. This Damn. is what the problem I be having. Facts are cap, y'all. So look, Lili, head of the next makers, I believe. Okay. But she's saying it's been relayed. Make old parks permanent. Could this change happen in some way? Like they just replaced the Elite and Rise? I don't know if that could happen, but just leave the event open or I don't know how they would do this. Maybe 26. Ah, I don't know, but I'm pretty much, I think everyone agrees. I don't think anyone thinks the parents of the Kyra being and the uh, iRobot Transformers part look on the same level. Look, he's saying it's so troll. Now look, Toxic tweets out that we could quick stop in uh 25 right um i hope this is the 20 quick stop okay i hope this is the 20 quick stop it was so good for the game and just you know more control over your my player i really hope this is bad. this is the first look at ankle breakers in nba 2k25 okay it, it uh on his knees that look kind of new or maybe no ah uh. Devin Booker floater animation definitely has been patched. It does not look as good as it once did. It's like slower. It seems more contestable, but 2K done missed it. You know, they didn't make it more pro play. They did some little tweaks to the animations, guys. They did some more tweaks to the animations to, you know, nerf it. You know, yes, which I don't realize. Little hitches and delays and stuff, you know. But look, I'm going to put y'all on game. The lower tier cheesy ones, those are the real floater sauces. The curry one is an OD one, and uh, yeah. More important, 2K devs have stated that both for three, speed with ball and ball handle is a lot more important. 2K devs uh -huh. have stated that both of these attributes tie into your speed uh -huh. boost. We noticed different players look to uh -huh. have the same dribble burst and a- I think this might get patched, bro. I'm not gonna hold. I don't know what Mike Wing Wang means by his tweet. Animation, but they burst at a different speed. Unlike in 24, if somebody had a 40 speed with ball and pro dribble style on, they would burst very similar to someone uh -huh. with a pro dribble style and a higher acceleration. Uh -huh. than speed in conclusion, it looks like speed with ball is a lot more important, and we will test this. You know why? Because they threw acceleration into a uh, speed with ball. Isn't that sad? Well, at least it fixes the problem. I mean, so many years they couldn't figure out how to make the acceleration or speed with ball matter. And then they just like, man, screw it. Put them together. <laughs> it's like they did with the bat. Just put them together. I mean, hey, it worked. It worked. <laughs> it looked like someone don't understand the coding. Might need to uh, rebuild this game from scratch. Now look, here are the comparisons of the Devin Booker floater, one of the most cheesiest moves in 2K history, in 2K24 pro play. Now being nerfed in 25, y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. Look at it. Focus new floater versus his. Uh huh. Look. Ooh. Ooh. Jeez. You can still get busy with it though. Nah, but I saw actual gameplay clips and it wasn't. It wasn't like how y'all probably perceive it with these clips. Let's see what he's saying. 25. He lifts off slower while also jumping forward. Yeah. Of drifting to the side. Which one yeah. do you like more? Focus. Saying that he you know, 
Do we need still to get bump steal animations? 2K Lab says this. Curry had a 37 steal and got some bump steals. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about low steal rated players getting steals. And the attributes is crazy. How does Curry have a 37 steal? It's like, bro, with the play now, make that uh realistic. I mean, whoever does the attributes every year is getting a free check. The attributes and badges for real players because it does not make sense. Maybe, maybe I'm a highlight watcher, guys. Do y'all think Cur Curry deserves a 37 steal? Dribble into a defender. If you do, your player will get a fumble. In, in NBA 2K25, you will not be able to dribble into a defender. Mm, if you like do, that. your player will get a fumble. Yeah, I like Or this. turn the ball over. We haven't seen this yeah. in NBA 2K. So let we have seen this in NBA 2K16. You might not know about that young Kosa. In 2K16, the greatest defensive 2K of all time. The greatest gameplay, highest skill gap 2K of all time. When you were dribbling in front of someone and they got up in you, you did like a little stutter step. You know, you couldn't, you know, they would get real bumpy on you. You couldn't get your burst off. And these newer 2Ks with no D, you got a little magnetism. You can dribble right into them and make, get, do all them crabs and stuff. Now you can get a little bump, make, you know? I don't know about the whole drop thing, but um, if they did it to where you got like that stutter step, like 16, it would be really dope. But we gonna have to see this. I wonder how this is going to work in uh 25 because no other no other creator even mentioned this that that I saw. I mean, I didn't see everything. It only seemed like Koza was talking about it. Here's Fox. Now look, here's Fox Hall of Fame lightning launch. That looked pretty quick. That looked pretty or gold lightning launch. This looked pretty quick. Yeah, it looked pretty quick. Mm. And it was a was that a stun? Wait, was that a stun? Is that a stun? Is that a stun? Stun? Oh, it looked kind of stunning. And he got like bronze. Mm. Hey y'all, look, this the this the Paul George sauce. I've been trying to tell y'all. Hold on, look, hold on, look, look. That's that Paul George sauce. Uh, we don't care about the dunk, bro. Hear that Paul George sauce? Now let me know if y'all gonna use this. This probably only requires like a 75 ball handle, and you could burst out of it. It looked pretty decent. And you can replicate real NBA. Now look, let let's preview these six shots that 2K Lab posted. Look at this. The new go-to shots mechanic was something that caught our eye. Look at this. Now, come on, bro. Come on, man. Most of these. Some look, look to be better or faster than others, but you can launch. The new go-to shots Now, let, let's look at these. Look at these. Heavily. Being you can replicate look at this. Footage. How are you getting Some open? Be better or faster than others. They have to just make these dead eye kings or just AI abuse. It, it's look. It's it. To score on the AI, it's looking like this might be a go-to move for online modes too. Uh, I think that would make sense. But to like play people with thumbs, I don't, I don't think so, bro. Look at this. Look at this. How are you getting open with this, bro? You feel me? Hold on. Animation alone, a very effective move if used correctly. Bro, no. This animation at the surface lower, but this was one of my favorites. So let's break down this. Damn, one of your favorites. Look at this. Come on, I mean, that's okay. The direction that the defender should be scared of. Remember, you are able to cancel the go-to shots and burst in either direction, giving you options on how Hopefully. to attack the defense. I start the go-to shot, and the defender plays to my ball hand side. A help defender also comes into the play on the right, anticipating launching the defense to our go-to shot. The favorite is John Morant's go-to move. If you're into faster moves, this how are you getting open off this? Faster than the other ones that we've seen. Perfect for those people hunting. For this is literally just for like clips versus bots like look at this hey look we got a dribble dump okay this is kd kd what you looking like okay i got the shot i like this i like this okay you got the tray on i like this i think y'all gonna be able to get open versus them uh legend 99 steals with this mm, tyrese get a little movie Know about that Trey Young, that shy stuff not looking it. Oh no, that look kind of cool. That's dope. That's a dope little move. Thank you. Now here is James. Got Bronny James with the blowout dribble and one animation. Okay, it's looking a little glitchy. Look, that's looking like a little glitchy. Hey, that post scoring stuff looking a little glitchy. I ain't gonna hold you. You can uh speed burst out it. And hey, we got some Luca movement. And let me know how y'all feel about this. I don't know. It's cooked. <laughs> He's looking cooked. <laughs> He's looking cooked, my boy. Oh no! Now look, hear the Murray behind the back. Murray behind the back we got on Community Day. 
Isn't it crazy how when something's OP, they try to like nerf it to oblivion like the next year instead of like balancing it and making it realistic, right? Like, is this a possible nerf incoming? Like, damn. Like, this looks horrible. Like, damn. <laughs> what animation you got, gave him in uh 24? Like, what the hell? This is like that Paul George animation. I think it was Paul George. Here's the 2K25 Jamal Murray behind the back we got on community. Like, damn. Donovan Mitchell dunk meter. Oh, I like that. That was aggressive. Wait, did he throw the ball on him? I don't think it was on purpose. But Anywho, y'all want to see NBA 2K25 before the patch to all the dribbling? But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.